Welcome back sa ating FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Leonelin at sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonelin. Now, ang sagutan naman natin ay itong age problem. Age problems. Meron tayong dalawang age problems dito at ito ay nandito pa rin sa sinisend sa isa sa ating mga followers dito sa ating FB page. So, pasahin muna natin yung unang problem dito. Lose is one-fourth as old as her father, who is two years older than her mother. When Luz was born, the sum of the ages of her father and mother was 50. How old was her mother when Luz was born? Dito lang tayo mag-focus kay father at ni mother. So, let M para sa edad ni mother. Nasa given mismo na si father daw, father who is two years older than her mother. Now, let M be the edad of her mother. So, tung, kung two years older, that means M plus two, yan yung edad ni father. Now, ang total daw nito, i-add muna natin yung mga like terms. So, dalawang M, two M, tapos bring down natin yung plus two. Ang total daw nito ay 50. By the way, laging tandaan na yung age gap, yung age gap, always yan siyang constant. Kapag sinabing 2 years older itong si father kay ni mother, so fix yan siya. Ngayon, ang total daw nito nung pinanganak itong si Luz ay 50. Now, doon muna tayo sa ating solution number 1 na tawagin natin kanto style way of solving. So, given na yung 50, since 2 years older itong si father, yung 50 na yan na total sa edad ni mother at si father, minusan na natin ng 2 kasi nga 2 years older si father. Kung minusan natin ng 2, ang sagot na 48, yan yung i-divide natin sa 2. Bali, 40, 48 divided by 2, this is 24. So, yan yung edad mismo ni mother. Itong 24. So, si father naman, i-add lang natin ng, add lang natin ng 2, 24 plus 2, that is 26. So, ang total dyan ay 50. Now, balikan natin yung tanong, how old was her mother when Luz was born? Ang sagot ay 24. Ngayon naman, dito tayo sa algebraic way of solving. So, solution number 2. Ito lang ang gamitin natin. So, 2M plus 2 equals 50. Since pang-add siya dyan, kapag i-transfer natin sa kabila, pang-minus na siya sa 50. So, ang matitira na lang ay itong 2M. So, 2M equals 50 minus 2 and this is 48. Now, para ma-isolate natin si M, itong M, by the way, yan yung edad ni mother. So, variable M. Pwedeng X, Y, Z kung anong gusto niyong variable yung sulat dyan. Now, since si 2 ay pang multiply sa M, kapag matransfer pang divide na yan sa 48, in other words, nag-divide ng 2 to both sides para makancel yan siya, M na lang ang natitira. Now, M equals 48 divided by 2, and this is 24. Yan na yung edad ni mother. Next, number 2. Joshua is one-third as old as his father, who is three years older than his mother. Napapansin niyo yung given, parang kakalintulad lang din sa nauna. When Joshua was born, born, at R, R, and N to, the sum of the ages of his father and mother was 53. Now, yung tanong dito, how old is Joshua now, ngayon isolve muna natin yung edad ni mother. Masusolve natin ito in two ways. Gaya ng ginawa natin sa number 1, so itong si 53, yan yung total ni mother at ni father. Tapos 3 years older than his mother, minus natin yung 3, so this will be 50. Tapos i-divide natin sa 2, and this is 25. Yung 25 na yan, yan yung edad ni mother. Otherwise, doon tayo sa ating table method. So, sulat natin si Joshua. Kasi kailangan muna natin alamin yung edad ni mother. Joshua, si father, at si mother. Let M para sa edad ni mother. So, si father daw ay 
3 years older, so that means M plus 3. Ang total nito ay 53, so dalawang M, this is 2M. Bring down natin si 3, ang total ay 53. Kailangan nga natin kunin yung value ni M since si 3 ay pang add dyan. Kapag matransfer pang minus na siya sa kabila, ang matitira na lang ay itong 2M. 2M equals 53 minus 3 and this is 50. Para makuha natin yung value ni M since si 2 ay pang multiply dyan, pang divide na yan sa kabila. In other words, nag-divide and 2 to both sides at i-cancel yan siya. Now, M equals 25 at 50 divided by 2 and that is 25. Ito yung edad ni mother. So, meron na tayong value dito sa M natin which is 25. Now, 25 since ang value ni M ay 25. So, 25 plus 3, this is 28. Yan yung edad ni father. Now, para masagot natin ang how old is Joshua now, balikan natin yung una. Unang sentence na nandito, Joshua is one-third as old as his father. So, ito yung edad ni father nung pinanganak si Joshua. So, that will be 28 plus year kung ilang taon yan na i-add natin. At i-divide natin ng 3 kasi nga one-third as old as his father at yan yung edad ni Joshua. Tandaan na nung ipinanganak si Joshua, yung father niya ay 28, adan natin ng y, let y para sa mismong taon na idagdag natin sa 28 at yan din yung edad mismo ni Joshua. So, ngayon, yung 28 plus kung how many years man yan siya, i-divide natin ng 3 para maging equal siya sa edad ni Joshua now. Ito na yung equation sa problem na to para makuha natin yung edad ni Joshua. So, ngayon, kung medyo nalilito kayo, ulitin nyo lang yung video. Proceed na tayo. Since itong si 3 pang divide yan, kapag matransfer pang multiply na siya sa y, so, therefore, ang matitira na lang dito ay itong 28, 28 plus y equals 3y. Next, pagsama natin yung mga like terms, itong y dito since pang add siya dyan, kapag matransfer pang minus na siya sa kabila. So, ang matitira na lang ay itong 28. So, 28 equals 3y minus y and this is 2y. Remember, kapag walang nakasulat na coefficient dito, automatic 1 kasi yan siya, kaya... 3 minus 1, and this is 2. Kaya 2y yung nandyan. Next, i-isolate natin si y. Since si 2 ay pang multiply dyan kapag matransfer, pang divide na siya sa 28. In other words, nag-divide and 2 to both sides para makancel yan siya. y na lang ang natira na y equals 28 divided by 2, and this is 14. How old is Joshua now? Ang edad ni Joshua ngayon, ay 14 years old. By the way, para sa mga first time pa sa channel ko, please do not memorize the answers because that will never help you kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Thank you and God bless.